are back in the kitchen with Julie Moreno from Jules Bakery and Cafe. And I want to take a look at all of the goods that you brought this morning. This is just a sampling of some of the your amazing creations. All gluten-free? Yes. Every single one? Every single one. Even that? Yes. Even, even that? Yes. <laughs> even that? Biscuits and gravy. Get out! <laughs> All right. Well, good. This is this is the secret ingredient right here. It's a special blend of gluten-free flour mixture that you put together, right? Mm -hmm. You made crepes with it earlier. Now you're making a pie crust here. So, I know we ha we have the recipe, by the way, on the website. But you've already rolled it out. What are we going to do next? Um, I'm going to put it in a pie shell. The easiest way to roll it out is people get scared to make pie. And if you roll it out between two sheets of of plastic wrap, mm -hmm. then you already have it ready to just flip. That's take, a great only idea. take the one off and reach underneath and just carefully ease it in there. And this pie dough is very forgiving and it's like three ingredients. So why not make your own? It's so easy to do. Well and I, I've never really done it before because a, my mom makes amazing pie crust, by the way. Um, but it's it's always been so much work, but you just now made it a lot easier. It, it is, and you don't have to cut in the butter with my recipe, and it comes out flaky and delicious. And then you just you know go go ahead and yeah. How do you get that? How do you get that little fancy schmancy thing you, right you there? You turn the crust under and make a nice ridge. It's so easy. That's to it. Just run two fingers oh. and clamp it all around. That's my easiest one to do. It's like looks really nice. Yes, it does. Very professional. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we have the pie crust there. And now the ingredients of peaches, which all happen to be coming into season right now. So yes, perfect. Yes, beautiful peaches right now. So um, I'm going to brown sugar in here and white sugar in here gives that the molasses flavor. Mm -hmm. um, Cornstarch is going to be the thickener and lemon juice Ooh. and lemon zest. Um, so that just mixed up thrown in the pie. That's very simple ingredients and the only thing you had in there to begin with was the peaches, yes, right? Yes, peaches, but okay. I did let them, uh, I put some sugar and let them sweat and took the juice out so I don't have a soggy pie. Oh, um, and, and do you have to do that like for an hour or overnight or what do you like mean? Like 20 minutes until you get enough juice in the bottom and just let it let it go because... It, and then it, you dumped it, it out, dumped yeah, the juice yeah. out. And drink it, you know, put it in a smoothie. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't waste that peach juice. Um, so piling, woman after my own heart. <laughs> piling these up nice and high, your your pie will sink while it's while it's baking. So if you just pile it up to the just to the very edge of the rim, mm -hmm. it's gonna sink and you're gonna have like a really short pie. So, so do you have to let it rest for a little bit then, or no? It's oh, just no, gonna shrink is, in the oven. It'll shrink okay. in the oven. So right. this is ready for a streusel topping. Okay, which you and just this mix. is this is all the ingredients for the streusel. Yeah, you're mixing and flour. You're mixing. Is that white your special sugar. ingredient flour? Yeah, okay. our, our all-purpose flour, okay. mixing brown sugar again, of course, toasted pecans. Of course. Um, and this is our organic palm shortening. So it, it, this pie is actually vegan as well. Really? We have a lot of people with dairy allergies and with egg allergies that come in. So being able to offer as least of the, uh, like the five top allergens mm -hmm. is really helpful. Mm -hmm. Well, with you having six kids, I, I can't imagine that you haven't tried just about everything to make everybody happy, right? Yeah, I have. And at one point, Sophia was allergic to uh, a whole slew of things when she was first diagnosed. So you've got that in that crumbly little texture. You're yeah. going to pour it on top of that. And then this is what it ends up looking like, a nice slice right here with some beautiful whipped cream. And you gave us the recipe? I, I did share it. Oh, we love it when you share peach or peach pie with pecan strudels. Doesn't get any better than that. And you All can right. use oh, your regular flour too. Oh, you can on this one. Yeah, okay, I good. Mean. All right, when she comes back in the kitchen, she's making up goat cheese and bacon quiche. And it's still hot and I can't wait to try it. 